Hey Kez, uh, we're going to do a strength training workout today. Okay. So I'd like to start off with a nice limber up for us, just to get those joints mobile, get the muscles ready for some good full range movement. So let's start off with our feet nice and wide. Great, hopefully everything's been caught there on the camera. All good. So, I'd like you to raise your right arm up, stretched up nice and high. Good. As you lean down onto your left leg, look up at your right hand, stretch it all the way out to your left. That's perfect. And then up. Great. Let's do exactly the same with the left arm. Lean down on your right, look up at your left hand, following a wide radius arc all the way over to the right. Fantastic. And down. Now we're going to bend the right knee. We're going to stretch that right arm up, yes, bend your elbow, take your hand behind your neck, and take your left hand to your right elbow, and then pull over to the left. Oh, wow. You feel that yeah, good stretch that. down the triceps and that's yeah. on the right side. Cool. Then we're going to extend that all the way out to the left. Tremendous. And then straighten up. Now take your right arm behind your back, take your left hand to your right wrist. And pull your arm down. As you do that, lean your head over to your left. So you should feel a good stretch all the way mm -hmm. down the right yes. side of your neck. And release. And then take your right arm across in front of you. Turn to look over to your right shoulder. Fantastic. All right. Now let's go over to the left side. So bend the left knee. Reach the left arm up. Fantastic. Bend your elbow. Good, here comes the good stretch. Okay. Take the right hand to left elbow. Oh, yes. And bend over to the right. Awesome. Reach over to the right. Just to extend that stretch further, keep pressing your left knee to the left. Breathing up. Excellent. We've got to breathe, okay? Yes. <laughs> right, so we're going to pull that left arm down, lean your head over to your right shoulder. And then we're going to take the left arm in front and look over your left shoulder as you pull your arm over to the right. And release. Excellent. Take your thumbs to your shoulders. We're going to turn nice big wide circle to the shoulder to get some good mm -hmm. shoulder mobility working, working to the rotator cuff muscles, change direction. So to work the breathing, you can Breathe in as you open the angle okay. and exhale as you close the angle. In, out. Good. Now bring your elbows together and then open your elbows out. Exhale as you bring, bring the elbows in. Breathe in out. Fantastic. Right. Now let's take the forearms up and we're going to rotate on the longitudinal axis of the upper arm. So keep your elbows high. Okay. That's it. Exhale down. Breathe in up. Perfect. Right, now bring your thumbs back to your shoulders. We're going to bend to the right. And that's it. And up and over to the left. And up and over to the right. And over to the left. Now I'd like you to reach with your left arm up to the right. And with the right arm up to the left. Left arm up to the right. Right arm up to the left. Brilliant. Now let's twist. And as we do that, we're going to press forward with the left arm and then forward with the right. Fantastic. Good. Right. Now let's take the arms up, nice and high, breathe in deep. And as you press your pelvis forward, stretch your arms back behind you. Then take your arms up, bring your fingers together, interlace them, invert your hands. And as you press your palms forward, draw your navel deep into your spine. Excellent. You press your palms towards me. Fantastic. Press your palms forward. Breathe in up right. We're nearly done with this limber up right. So we're going to bend forward from the hips. That's it. Press our palms towards each other. Keep your head up. Legs are straight. Excellent. Take your hands to your knees, which are bent now. And let's go over to the right hand side. Stretch your left leg out to the left. 
Let's go over to the left hand side, switch right leg out to the right. Now let's do that again, but this time, as you stretch your left leg out to the left, take your left hand to your right ankle. You'll press your elbow towards the floor. You don't have to press it onto it. And then reach upwards with the other arm. So that's going to be with your right arm. Good, and then let's go up and over to the left side. Taking the right hand to the left, you're doing really well. Thank Press you. the elbow down and reach that left arm up nice and high. Good, and up. Now you should feel pretty good. Let's turn the heels in, toes out. Breathing up, good. We're going to do a squat. Right, so breathing down, exhale up. Breathing deep as you exhale up top into the deep. So on. In and out. Good. Right, feet together. We're done with that little bit of a limber up, so I'm just gonna pause. Right here, yes, so we've done our limber up stretch, which was kind of a dynamic stretch. Okay, so you're getting all those muscles and the joints and the tendons all ready to move. Well, now a static stretch we would do afterwards, but that's to really stretch into the tendons okay. and the muscle. But that would really be applicable for afterwards, okay? Just so that you know. Okay. So we do a moving stretch to begin with yes. because you're going to be moving. Not that there's a lot of power movement today. For today's workout, it's going to be purely strength. No jumping, in other words, okay. no power metrics. That would fall under strength, but this is more a uh, muscle hypertrophy type of strength, okay. meaning we want to build a little bit of size in the muscle, yeah. which is going to give you density in the muscle. And you said to me that you want nicely toned muscles that are well conditioned, but functional as yes. well, so you can move around. So we're going to do sets of 10 to 15 repetitions, okay. which would take about 45 seconds on each if we use the timer. Okay. And ideally, the weight is going to be such that you reach failure on the last few repetitions. Okay. So it's almost like the 80 20 rule yes. where you spend 80% of the set getting to the last 20%, yes. which is the effective part. Okay. Right. So I'd like you to think of it like that. The okay. first 10 reps of the 15 yes. are to get you to those last five. Okay. So try not to give up then. Push into those last five. That's what we call overload. And it's the overload that causes your body, or forces your body, to have to adapt yes. to a new level okay. of strength in this case. Okay. All right. So that's how your body works it responds to overload yes. and it adapts and becomes fitter, fitter. stronger, however we overload you specifically. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's get to it. Yeah, this. I'm looking forward to this. Right, so for the workout we're going to work all of the major muscle groups and I like to start with a pull-up. The reason I like to start with a pull-up is because it allows your spine to stretch out nicely. And also you're using a lot of upper body muscles which are important in terms of warming the upper body up. Yeah. Right, so we're going to be doing a pull-up and it's okay. going to be an assisted pull-up so don't worry about having yes. to lift your whole body weight up, alright? Okay. Well you will, but it's going to be assisted by these yes. tubes here so I want you to step into okay. them very carefully. After that, we're going to do some dips using these bars. Okay. And again, I don't want you to think that you have to suspend your entire body weight. You can have your feet on the floor. So we've got two assisted exercises. Okay, All right. I'd like us for today's workout to do four sets. Okay. So we will alternate. So it's basically an agonist antagonist approach. So you do a pull movement and a push movement. Yes. That enables the pulling muscles to rest while wow. you're doing the pushing and vice versa. Definitely. Okay. okay. So if you feel comfortable about the concept and the reason why we're doing yes. it Definitely. and you understand it, then you're going to be able to apply it a lot better. 
Absolutely. So let's do that. Let's go to the product. I'm going to demonstrate first all the exercises. Okay. And then I'd like you to do. Right. And if for any reason you feel that it's too difficult or too heavy, I'll definitely let you know. You're going to let me know and you're going to stop before you hurt yourself. Yes. Okay. Right, Kiss, so I'm going to show you how to do these pull ups. Please be very careful, safety always comes first. Okay. Right. So, with these tubes, I'd like you to stand here. We're going to pull the tube down and get your foot in the center of your foot yes. and in the center of the tube. Okay. Right, that's very important. Then I'd like you to hold on to the bar and hop forward with your supported leg. Of the support today. Then I want you to take an underhand grip just inside the attachment of these tubes onto the bar. Okay. Still making sure that you feel safe, secure, and comfortable. Yes. Press downward with the supported leg. Put your supported leg in as well. Okay. Make sure the tubes are steady, they're not going to yes. slip behind you. Okay. Right, we're going to breathe in before we lift okay. and exhale as we lift. As we lift. Okay. We're going to lift quicker and lower slower. Right. It's easy to remember because it rhymes. Yes. Right, so breathe in. I don't mind if you tap down onto the ground. Okay. Ideally, it's all about time and attention, so we want to keep the tension prolonged through yes. the duration of the set so you don't really want to rest too long. Okay. Right, I did a few repetitions. Notice there's a tempo difference. You lift a little quicker than you lower. Yes. Alright, keep a nice good pace as well. Okay. Right, Perfect. happy? Yes. Good, so when you step out, again take the tubes like this. Step out very carefully. Release your foot from the tubes. Let go and then we're going to go to the next exercise. Okay, thanks. Alright, happy? I'm ready. Good, let's do this. So, when you come through over here, I'm going to put these over here ready for our next one. Step in carefully. Excellent. Alright, reach up. Make sure you've got a good grip. Tremendous. Now, remember, we're going to lift that other right foot into the straps. Shoot. Perfect. Can you ground yourself? Wow, excellent. Breathe it down. Exhale up. Now, use your muscles in the abdominal region and the glutes to keep your body nice and straight. Come on. Okay. Big ball. All right, and release down and step down. That's fine. So, that could be a good idea and you as well, yes, um, as to how much more assistance we need. Absolutely, we yeah. All right. And how we <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we have to start somewhere. Yes, okay. So, imagine that we had a few more of these tubes yes. and you were able to do about 15 repetitions. Ideally, that's what you want okay, to do. Okay, perfect. All right, happy with that? Definitely happy. Okay, let's do the dips over here. So, what I'd like you to do is Get your arm, your hands centered, and then keeping the feet just behind the back legs of the bar. I'd like you to bring your knees forward. Let's align vertically the knees with the hips yes. and the shoulders. Throw most of your weight into the back of your palm. Again, like you did with the pull-ups. Okay. Breathe in down, exhale up. Use as little leg as necessary yes. and as much arm and specifically triceps. Those are the muscles in the back of your arm, you know that? Yes. As much as you can. <laughs> Alright. Good. So again, we're going to try to aim for 15 repetitions. Okay. Right. So the feet are just behind the back legs of the bar. Knees, hips, shoulders all aligned. Great. Breathe in slowly down. Exhale quicker out of the arm. Good. So notice you're looking forward. That will encourage you to keep your back nice and straight. Whereas if you look down, your spine is going to be rounded and we don't want that. Anatomically, it's not good. Okay. Just like with the pull-ups, keep everything nice and straight upright. Great. Excellent. You should be starting to fatigue, feel the fatigue yes. setting in. Now, this is where you have to dig in deep. Wow. 
excellent. So your last few repetitions are going to be really tough to the extent where you just make it to the top. Try one more. Done. Excellent. Oh, I that was that. really good. That was good. Now that's how you train to, let's call it partial failure. Okay. Right, where you know that you could probably do one more, yeah. but it would be a quarter or a half rep. Okay. But in our case, we don't really need to worry about that because we're going to do four rounds of yes. this. Okay. So, so you're going to, you don't have to no, worry. the okay. volume that you're going to do is going to enable you to sufficiently okay, overload. Right. Okay, perfect. You're so happy the same with would that? apply to with a pull up. So okay. we'll, we'll find another tube. And that tube will give you a little more assistance to enable okay, you nice. to do 15 repetitions. Fantastic. These you were happy with? Absolutely. Fantastic. I know I'm stronger with that. Were well, you connecting nicely with yes. all the muscles in the midsection? Yes, absolutely. Because remember, all those muscles enable you to keep your lower lumbar vertebrae nice and stiff. Yeah. Once they're stiff and rigid, then the hips and the lower back all work together okay. and we can transmit the forces from the feet to the hands, yes. or the hands to the feet. Okay. No energy leaks. Yes. Brilliant. Perfect. All right, so we, shall we move on to the next yes, round? Yes, definitely. Good job. Right, so that was really good. And you ended up doing four sets of each. Absolutely, it was so, so you, great. You feel nicely I, warmed I up now? Yeah. Fantastic. So, we're going to stay with upper body but we're going to incorporate a bit more legs now. Okay. In that, in this case, we're going to be working the front when we do our push-up with a tuck, which will come second. Okay. And we're going to be working the back, we call that the posterior chain on the back, yes. and the anterior chain on the front. So I want you to think of all of those muscles linked as in a chain. All right. Okay. So let's start now. We finished off doing dips. Yes. So that was a push. Yes. So now we need to do a pull. Exactly. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. So let me show you how we're going to do this. Okay. So I'd like you to sit down just in front of the bars. I'm going to help you. We'll get your feet into the straps here. Okay. Press your heels in, all right? So yes. not your toes, but your heels. And I'd like you to keep your foot like this. This is called dorsiflexion. Okay. Right, so long as that happens, we're going to have a little bit more rigidity around yes. the knee joint. There's a lot of weight going into the knee. Then I'd like you to, again, grab a hold of these bars in the center. Lie back and in terms of keeping your spine straight, try not to do this, okay. but rather do that, look, look up. up and back, okay. yes. So the glutes will be tight, we breathe in, in preparation for the movement, exhale up, then down, breathe in, okay. then one, two, three, four. So there's six moves in all. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Right. Happy with that? Perfect. Yes. Great. So that is going to be what we call a pelvic press pull up. Okay. So let's get you in there. Right. So I'd like you to stand over here. Sit down just in front of the feet of the bars. Good. Alright. Let's make sure that we have this nicely aligned. Excellent. Right. Okay. The foot. Perfect. Right. So you're going to be thinking of that posterior chain. Yes. From your hands all the way down to your knees. Alright. Good. Right. Body flat as a plank. Look kind of backwards a little. Okay. Right. Let's breathe in. Exhale up. Good. Breathe in down. Exhale knees to chest. Exhale hips up. Breathe in and up. Fantastic. Well done. You've done one already. Good. That's it. Three, four, five, six. One, 
two, awesome. Knees towards the chest, three, hips up, four, hips down, five, legs extended, six. Brilliant, now it may feel a little bit tough. Yeah. That's all good, the volume is going to make up for the deficit in the number of repetitions. So okay. when you do four sets, it's really gonna help you. Tremendous, good to see you keeping your hips off the ground. Good to see your body flat as a plank. Your alignment of your spine is improved because you're looking a little bit backwards mm -hmm. instead of tucking your chin into your chest. Okay. Right, try one more, all right? So we remember the overload. Take it an almost complete failure. Ooh. Very good. Synchronize the breathing with each movement. Breathe oh. in. Exhale as you pull up. Shall we do one more? One more. Yes, great, well done. Breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale, breathe in. Well done, superb. Wow. Sit down. Tremendous. That was really good. That was good. good. Can I help you out? That was good. Okay. Right. That was good. That All right. Really so was let's, good. let's move these out to the side. And we're going to be doing a tuck with a push up. Okay. So let's get a set of weights. And we're going to put the weights over here. Yeah, like that. So if you were to do this yourself, just always remember use your legs when you're lowering or lifting weights. Use the legs, make sure your back's straight. Do that, lift your chin up. Okay. See, if your chin's up, that would be straight, won't yeah. you? Whereas if you click down like that, yeah, you it's... like get around. Okay. And you lift and lower. All right. So, just like you kept that really good plank position, I'd like you to do the same here. Only difference is this is prone, in other words, front. So we're gonna okay. get the foot in. I may need you to help me there because of these shoes. No problem. Actually, Are you fine? Like, well, I'm persevering in terms of getting it right. Help and I one. think that's going to be there good. There we are. Right. So, I'm going to align, just like you did with the pelvic press yes. pull-up. Your hands were vertically underneath your shoulders. Okay. okay? Now, in this case, so your shoulders were really down underneath the hands. In this case, the hands are vertically underneath the shoulders. Yes. Right. So we're not there, and we're not too far forward. So that 90 degree angle in the joint is very important. All right, so here we're going to breathe in down. <sighs> Exhale up, that's two. All right. Okay. Three and four, it's a four count. Right, keep your glutes tight. That's right. really important. Keep the abdominals tight. Consider your body as being like a bridge. Yes. Okay. I've reversed the breathing pattern or order. So then I exhale as I drive the knees up towards the chest. Okay. Bring it back. Whichever oh, works best for you, as long as you coordinate an inhalation and exhalation with a movement, okay. extending or pressing yes. the arms. Okay, good. Let's give that a try. I think I'll be good at these. I think you will be, based on how you did those pelvic press pull-ups. Right, I'm going to help you. Let's have your right foot in. Excellent. Onto your right knee. Let's have your left foot in. Onto your left knee. Good, align your shoulders vertically over your hands. Great, press your heels back. Yes, dorsal oh, flex. Good. Right, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale. Now let's try the yes, that's good. Keep the body flat as a plank. You can try the exhalation there. Breathe in, exhale down, breathe in up, exhale, knees to chest. Breathe in back. Whichever works best for you. You're doing it really well. Tremendous. Keep it up. Try to work at a nice, quick, but controlled pace. Very good. Typically, you'll find that if you are bringing your knees to your chest, that dog is under tension, you want to exhale. 
Right. Oh. Oh. Wow, well done. Uh, so. That was really good. Tremendous. I'm definitely going to get better. You enjoyed that? Well, you will because we got another three rounds to do. Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. Cool. That's good. So we're going to go back to the pelvic press pull ups for round two. Okay, I'm ready for yeah. it. Right, Liz, that was excellent. So we did the pull ups, we did the dips, we did in a vertical plan. In a, in a horizontal yes. plan, we did the supine pull ups and we did the the push-ups with the tuck. Yeah. Right. Do you notice how we incorporated more of the Absolutely. core musculature Absolutely. to stabilize the hips in the back? Yeah. Now that was important because we're going to need to use that same focus again to brace the midsection when we work with the heavier weights yes. here. Okay. okay. So our first exercise is going to be a deadlift. But we're going to do it with stiff legs. Okay. okay. It's called a Romanian deadlift. The Romanian deadlift encourages you to work through the glutes. Okay. Whereas a regular deadlift would be more of a knee bend. Oh, okay. okay. So, and would that work? So, well, it will work more into the quadriceps. Oh, okay. So, here we're going to de emphasize the quadriceps. Yes. And the reason for that is because later in, in this little series, we're going to be doing a squat with a press, okay. which emphasizes yes. the quadriceps. In fact, there's very little involvement of the hamstrings. Okay. Oh, whereas we, it sense. makes sense, yes. hopefully it does. No, it makes a lot right. of sense. So when we do the, second, the Romanian deadlift, I want you to think about your hamstrings and your glutes and your lower back, as well as your lats. Okay. All right? Now the lats tie in like a cross to the glutes. Yes. Okay. So that's always important. So I want you to think when you lift the weight, although you're not going to lift the weight as such yes. like this, I want you to think that the lats are anchored okay. and connected to the glutes. Will you do that? Yes. Fantastic. Okay. So we're going to go over here. Remember the chin up enables you to keep your back straight. Yes. So the chin is up, so bend forwards like this. We're going to Keeping the back nice and straight, brace to the glutes, hamstrings, take your weights, bring them towards the knees. We don't need to go much lower than the knees. Okay. Exhale up. Incidentally, the breathing, I like to always breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And notice there's a pause between each repetition. Yes, yes, Alright, and then again, carefully lower the weight so you can chin up. Okay. Right, I think you're good to go with this one. Great. Right, stand a little bit closer to the step. Okay. Good, so you don't have to bend and reach forward too much. Lift the weights, engage the abdominals, lower back, lats, glutes. Hammies are going to help. So, remember we're going to aim for 15 repetitions. Excellent. Your spine is even slightly concave, which is good, and I prefer that than a convex or rounded spine. Chin is up. So we're checking all the boxes here. Knees are slightly bent and kept at that fixed angle. You're lowering the weight just below the knee, breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. I like it. The lift is a little bit quicker than the lower. Always remember, slower it's lower. Okay. Tremendous. Now, this weight might be a little bit on the light side. Typically, we want to load you with a weight so that you're reaching failure okay. around about 12. But that was good for a first set. Yes, On our next, now I know I can go heavier. Yes, exactly. Great. And that was a good way, especially where your spine could be vulnerable. Yes. Always a good idea to stop with a slightly lighter weight. Remembering we've got another three sets, yes. you can load it up even more. Definitely, we'll be doing that. Right, now we're going to do chest press. So, okay. again, I think let's go with the lighter weight. We'll use these five kilogram weights 
for safety reasons, as we did right in the very beginning, always think of the safety component first. So I'd like you to walk back to the ball, to see another ball is there, it hasn't moved out of the way. And we're going to lift the weight up to the shoulders. Right. I want you to brace into the midsection, glutes are tight. Sit down on the ball. You know it's there because you felt it behind your legs. And then we're going to slowly roll out, keeping the glutes tight until you feel the shoulder blades and elbows hug the ball around the center. Lower your head back, bring the elbows out. So there are many ways to press, but yeah. we're going to keep what we call overhand grip. Okay. And I'd like you to breathe in, engage the glutes, exhale, engage the elbows. Breathe it down. So keep the glutes tight all the time. Press upwards a little bit quicker, then you lower down as you breathe in. The abdominals will contract as you push upwards. All right. And then when you finish your set, let's bring the weights back to here. And as you simultaneously lower the weights, sit on your right. Good. Keeping your chin up. Yes. And straight remember that. Put the weights down. One at a time. Okay. And then you sit. All right. Happy? Awesome. Yes. Yeah, very Good. happy. Make sure everything is secure. Remember, chin up when you bend your knees to lift the weights. Perfect. Good, walk back to the ball. Okay. Excellent, make sure that you feel the ball behind you is not moving. Brilliant. Well done, you hoist the waist to the shoulders nicely, sit down in the center of the ball. Excellent, roll it out slowly. Keep the glutes engaged. Open your elbows out to the side and your overhand grip. That's perfect. We're going to bring the weight down towards the shoulder and then exhale, press the weights together at the top. Beautiful. Bring it down. And exhale. So you press up a little bit quicker as you lower down. Glutes are tight. Got a nice good plank here. I like it. So we've connected the hands through the shoulders with the feet through the hips and the knees. Excellent. And again, you're going to try to work until you've got to about 80 or 90 percent failure. So you're able to manage a complete repetition towards the end of the set. Excellent. Breathe in deep. As you start to tire, engage more abdominals, even more. So we're protecting that midsection. Superb. Yes, use the power of your breathing. Good. You could probably do one more. Well done. Slowly lower the weights down to your shoulder. Roll backwards into an upright seated position. Sit up tall, good, put one weight down at a time. That's good for your back, okay? Excellent. Well, that was really good. That was good. Are you happy with the weights? I'm very happy with that, yeah. Fantastic. I can feel it. Good. I won't be able to do any heavier, well, not at this moment. No, that's all fine. Cool. Great. Right, so we're now going to go on to the next exercise, which is into the back again. So we start with the deadlift. Yes. That was the back, posterior jump. Then we went to the front with the chest press. Now we're going to do a bent forward position again. So remember all of your boxes to be checked. Yes. Chin is up, back is straight, knees slightly bent. Okay. And we're going to lift the weights up to the side. Okay, okay. Right. So I think again, let's, let's work with these fives. Let's stand with the feet fairly wide and strong. So oh, you'll nice. notice that if your feet are together and you do this, it's going to put a lot more strain yes. into your lower back. So we have a broad base of support. Chins up, look forward, back straight, lower the waist just below the knees, and we're going to exhale up the knee. Tighten your abdominals as you lift up to the side. Try to keep your spine and the fixed angle parallel to the ground. So okay. we don't want to lift up too, too high. Too high. All right. Good. 
Right. Yes, excellent. Posture. Posture always comes first. Yes. And that was good. Right, ready? Now let's, that's called the hammer grip. So that was our overhand. That's a hammer grip. Let's keep the hammer grip okay. on this one. Right. Are these wide enough? Feet are, I would say that's a good broad base of support. You feel comfortable? Yes. Good, let's go. 50. Yes, fantastic. Excellent, keep that up. Breathe in on the down. Exhale vigorously up. When you feel that your back is lifting too high above horizontal, then you may want to stop the set. Good, I like it. Very, very oh. good. Well done. That was excellent. That was good. Yes, tremendous. Well, we're going to do the squat with the press now. Okay. So remember, right at the beginning we did the deadlift. Yes. And we worked the hamstrings and the glutes. Okay. Well, now we're going to be working primarily the quadriceps. Okay. Also the glutes at the bottom. Yes. And I'd like you to brace the abdominals, okay. all right? So just remember, midsection connection. Yes. yes. Got it? Awesome. Let's do this. Awesome. So, Lift up the weights carefully. We're going to hoist them to the shoulder. And again, I'd like you to have a fairly broad base of support. Turn your feet outwards so that your knees run in alignment with your big toe. Okay. okay. Bring the weights to the front of your shoulders. And then very importantly, look at your forearms. Keep them vertical. Okay. Right, so we're going to breathe them down. We're going to look forwards. Or up. Right, so glutes tight, power from the glutes to the bottom, into the quads, up through the abdominals, into the shoulders and arms. Right, and then bring it down. Now, if you allow your forearms to fall forward, you're going to fall forward. Right. If you look downwards, you will fall forward. Right. So everything. Depends on the forearms, vertical, and where you're the located. gaze, absolutely, yes. Breathing down. Accelerate up and slowly on the down. Okay. Right, and then the weights down. One at a time is best. Perfect. Good to go. Good. Lift up to the shoulders. Yes, I like that. So we're going to work at this angle. Okay. Cool. Fantastic. This will enable your knee to check in perfect alignment. So it should feel comfortable in the knee. And also having the legs angled upwards alleviates strain into the lower back. It's looking really, really good. Remember, engage the glutes at the bottom. Abdominals up to the top, breathe in deep, exhale up strongly, slowish rotation in the shoulder. Very, very good. Let's take it to the failure. It should be around 15 if we've selected the weight correctly. One more. That's good, excellent. And carefully lower the weights. Very good. Well done. Awesome. That was absolutely superb. Oh. So we did four exercises in this series. And we've got three more rounds to Okay, do. great. Ah, you're doing got really this. well. Yeah, You've got, got it. This. Excellent. So let's keep it up. We're going to round number two. Okay, great. Kids, you did really well with those four sets. So just to recap on what we've done, we started off with the pull-ups, yes. okay, so that was a lift or pull movement, then we did the dips, which was a push movement, yes. then we did the supine pelvic press pull-ups, it oh. was pull in a horizontal plane, yes. then we did the tuck with a push-up, which is a push in a horizontal yes. plane, and both of those used the core a lot more than the first, the first couple of yeah. exercises. Then we went from there into the Romanian deadlifts. Yes. Okay. 
okay, focusing on the prime movers. So there was core involvement, mm -hmm. but we worked the glutes, very strong, powerful muscles. Then we did the chest press, engaging the glutes, but working into the upper body. Do you notice how we move from legs to yes. upper body? Okay. I quite like that. Yeah, like it, it makes a nice combination, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Then we went from there to the bent forward fly. So again, those glutes yes. heavily, but upper back instead of the front, important. which creates balance. Absolutely. And then from there, we went into the squat press. Right, so it's a vertical press. So we're happy with mm. all of that. I'm very happy with this. Do you notice how we took it from all the large muscle groups down now into the smaller yes. muscle groups? Okay. Or the single leg, single arm. Mm. So now we're going to work into, because you said you wanted better tone in your biceps and your triceps. Definitely. So using the same principles, namely, 15 repetitions to failure, we're going to do bicep curls, engaging the core, which is squeeze the glutes and the abs tight. We don't want energy leaks. Okay. So from the feet, the base, we want to have all of that power, that energy, going into the arms. All right. All right. Now, in this case, I want to challenge your core. So instead of standing with the feet apart, broad base of support is easier. Yes. I'd like you to stand with your feet together. Okay. All right? So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to pick up the weights, keeping the back straight. And then I'd like you to stand like this. Right, so squeeze the glutes tight, abs tight. This is called supination. Okay. Okay, that's called pronation. That's our hammer grip. We're going to keep the hands supinated. Look forwards and up, breathe in. So, we're going to try not to shift the body around so that only the arms are working, arms are working. from the elbow. Oh, exactly. Alright. So, that's the bicep curl. Then, when we do the tricep press, you may. You know, now remember your center of gravity is going to be extended upwards. Yes. So you may step your feet further apart. Okay. <clears throat> or just remember again, bring to the shoulders, keep the legs together, squeeze the glutes extra tight. And oh, the abs, right. breathing down. <sighs> now that is a little advanced. So what I'm going to suggest is that we start with feet slightly wider. Right. Okay down. Now, if you feel like it's going to get really tough, you can bend the knees a little bit to give you a little bit of a push. Alright. Okay? Okay. So, we're going to do those two as the combination. Bicep curls, tricep, tricep press behind the knee. Okay, right. Okay. I'm ready. Excellent. Right, let's do this. Good. I like the way that you're putting the safety the integrity of your mm -hmm. spine fits. Lifting nice and forward. Okay. Good, supinated, hands to the side. Excellent. Engaged in the midsection. Ready, breathe in, and let's go 50. Well, really good. The tempo is good. A slightly quicker lift than you lower the weight. Great, your posture is absolutely perfect. Nice, upright. Good. As you lift the weight, do you feel the abdominals tightening? Yes. Brilliant. What I like is that those arms are nice and steady. The body is steady. Throwing all of your focus into the biceps to make them work. When you feel that you cannot complete another repetition, we'll stop. Brilliant. That was good. Well done. Let's put the weights down. Definitely. Walk around a little bit. Rest. That was good. Tremendous. That was really that good. That was really good. So, yeah. let's do the tricep exercise. Again, careful as you lift. Good. Hoist the weights to the shoulder. Good. Let's start with the feet apart. 
Right, we're going to bring the hands back behind the neck. Keeping the weights fairly close together. Okay. I'd like you to keep them up, press upwards, and slowly lower them. Wow, really good. Now, if you find that it's getting too tough before you reach 10, you could go with one weight. Okay. But I like to use two because it gets each arm to work individually. Excellent, really good. Beautiful in terms of the posture. Good to see you using a little bit of leg where necessary. Kind of assisted tricep press. Fantastic. What we call your form is absolutely perfect. If your form is good, the quality of the movement is good, and therefore the effectiveness of the movement is greatly enhanced. Well done. Hey, let's put those weights down. Round number one. Done. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, so we've got three rounds of this to do. Okay. Just like you did there. Yeah. It was perfect. Did you also, feel good about it? Definitely. Definitely. That's really important. You have got to feel like, wow, my body felt great. I do. I feel really great. There was no position that hurt me. I was able to transfer the power yeah. into the muscles that were lifting the weight. Brilliant. Absolutely. Right, let's do rounds number I'm two, really three, and four. Right, Kez, that was excellent. So, those were what we would call more isolation type movements, okay? And we're going to stay in that context of isolation okay. to work again into the glutes and the hammies yes. when we do a single leg Romanian deadlift and a single leg pistol squat. Okay. So the single leg remaining will work yes. the posterior chain and the single leg pistol squat will work the anterior, the front. Okay. Now the good thing about these is that they are whole body movements, complex movements. Mm -hmm. What you may not have noticed, but you may have, is that almost every movement in our workout today has been in a front back. Yes, I That's didn't notice that. You're well done. That's called the sagittal plane. So it's not really functional because we tend to move side to side, yeah. we rotate as well. But in terms of just general toning for our purposes today, so we'll call this a pure strength Okay. okay. It's fine that we do it in the sagittal plane, but when you do the single leg movements, there is movement. Exactly, because there is counter movement. Yes. So we have to resist rotation. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And resist falling to the side. Well, it's felt the same exactly when we were doing the supine um, pull ups. You're like moving to the side and you go to like. Yes. If there's movements going on, it's not just Good. And, and, isolated. And, and as well. anti movement. Yes. Okay, so. Let's now do these single leg Romanians. So again, it's going to be very much like you did that Romanian deadlift, okay. but only that you're going to work on one leg, which means there's a balance requirement here. Okay, so, dig deeper into the glutes. Remember, there's an interplay between both the legs. Yes. So although the left leg will do most of the work, the right leg will help. So, again, lower, breathe in, exhale up. Squeeze the glutes tight, Keep the knee fixed, breathe in down, chin up, exhale up. All right. Um, Let's nice. try with two. If you feel it's too heavy, we'll just use one. Okay, perfect. So let's go with the left leg first. I place your foot there. This knee should always be slightly in front of that knee. And the reason is you're able to keep your back straight. Yes. Whereas if that knee's back there, it makes it kind of awkward, you know, mm -hmm. fall and forward. And that also cause uh, problems in your lower back. Absolutely. You so could what hurt your lower back. Yes, we don't want to compromise on that. So, very importantly, just do that little check that the knees in front of the step back. Yes. Stand up tall, keep the chin up, and then lift. All right. Good. Yeah, good. Right, now that's good. I like the position. 
What I would do is lift the weights first, standing okay. on both feet. Great, now get yourself into that position. How does that feel? Yeah, that okay. feels good. Right, so the reason you do that is because if those weights were too heavy and you already are in that position, you're going to compromise yourself. Yeah. Whereas you know now that that weight's fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So now you're all set and ready to go without having compromised yourself. Okay, perfect. Good. Again, let's shoot for 15 repetitions. Squeeze the glutes tight. The pelvic floor muscles, you know where they are, they're also engaged. They're part of the core, the abdominals, transverse abdominals, all to keep balance. Very, very good. Just a light tap to the floor if you need to. Remember, it's the tension that we're going to keep for a long time. Try to keep that tension even as you lower down. Great, take it to the limits. Wow, well done. Good, excellent. Very happy with that. Very Did it feel good? Yes. Back felt good? Yes. Hip felt good? Absolutely, awesome. it all feels good. Now let's go to the front. Okay. So we're going to face this way. We're going to use that TRX again. So, we worked off the left leg there. Let's work off the left leg again. Okay. So, we're going to hold the strap with the right hand. All right. Okay. Align the strap with your right shoulder and slightly your knees. Okay. And that's important. So, if you're standing too far to the side, then you're going to throw your balance off. Yeah. So, it's all got to do with alignment. So let's keep these straight lines. We're working off the left leg. Reach your left arm up. Try to press your upper arm into your ear. Lift your right knee forward. So it must work in alignment with the strap. So I'm going to lower down, stretching the arm out onto my left heel. Engage the left glute, pull up, and transfer focus into the obliques on the right. So we're breathing down. Okay, exhale up. All right, okay. bring the knee up nice and high. The higher you bring the knee, the more you have to engage those obliques. All right. The more you engage them, the greater stability you yes. get to the hips. Okay, fantastic. So let's walk forward. Oh, incidentally, if you want to go down to a lesser degree, then you'll stand further back. Oh, okay. So you can always start there and then yes, and as you exactly and then work closer in. Okay, great. So this will give you kind of a half squat. Alright. Alright. Lift your right knee up. Breathe in down as you extend your right leg out. Beautiful. And then exhale up. Use your your left heel. Okay. It triggers a kind of a reflex contraction into the glutes. Okay. So while you press the heel down the glute will respond by contracting the muscle. Excellent. Breathe in deep on the down. Exhale up strongly, lifting the knee up nice and high. Tremendous. The posture is absolutely perfect. Good. The muscle synchronization pattern will be from the left heel up through into the quads and glutes, actually the glutes then the quads, and then to the obliques on the right. Good, perhaps one more. One more. And well done. Excellent. That was really good. That was so good. We did the left side, we're going to do exactly the same with the right side. Okay, great. But your form was absolutely perfect. Okay, good. You felt good about it? I feel really did good. Did you notice the difference between doing an exercise on one leg? Oh yeah, definitely. More challenging to your midsection than Yeah, your hands. definitely. Yes. But it's good, but I'm happy I'm doing it. And so also notice we started on both legs. Yes. And then we moved to one leg. Okay. 
I really like the way that works. It really makes a lot of sense. Good, right. Awesome. Give you a good spark and let's do the right hands. Okay, perfect. Great. Excellent, Kez. Well, you did really well and now we're getting to the end of the workout. Sure. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling it, but... I bet you don't want to stop. No, I don't want to stop, no, but no. I am feeling it. We have to stop after this. Yeah. Right. So we will have done about an hour's workout, oh. which is a good amount of time to spend doing a strength and conditioning yes. workout. Right. So the last two exercises are going to be a side arm raise into okay. the shoulders. The reason that I'm giving you that exercise is it works the medial belt a lot. And you said to me that you want to work there, mm -hmm. which is a nice balance for your hips. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to do that and then we're going to do what I call a Spider-Man Renegade Row. Okay. A nice good complex movement that will work the entire body. It's a good finisher. Alright. Alright. So, Let's look at the side arm raise. I'd like you to hold the weights like this. Remember when we did the bicep curls? Check all those boxes. Yes. Legs are straight, glutes are tight. Right, breathe in. Up to the top and slowly down. Right, so we're going to exhale up, breathe in down. With this one, lower the weights nice and slowly, okay? okay. Right, then for the Renegade Row Spider-Man, we're going to go over here to the step. So we'll put the weights down in front as though we're going to do a push-up. Get your feet centered. Again, get your shoulders vertically over your hands. That's really important in plank position. So we're going to breathe and down, bring the right knee okay. to the right weight or elbow. And then exhale up. And then we're going to lift opposite leg and arm. Okay. Right. I normally do that a little bit better. I can <laughs> okay. imagine. And then we're going to do the same. Down to the left, up, and lift on the right. So it's down on the right, lift with the leg, down on the left, lift. So it's opposite leg and arm. Right. Okay, great. As you can see, I feel like this one is going to be a challenging. Good, challenging <laughs> finisher. Good way to Absolutely. finish it. Yeah. Right, so let's go with the, the side arm raise. Yeah, that already got my breathing. Just do a few of those. <laughs> Shoot, I can't right. imagine what it's going to do to me. Legs together. Yeah. Good. Excellent. All right. Wow, tremendous, slowly down, control, exhale up. So notice how we can use an isolation exercise for the shoulders in this case, and also work into the midsection, the core. Great, exhale up. Breathe in down. Keep that good, steady, constant tension, slower to lower. You'll probably do one more. one more. Use a bit of legs if you need to. Wow, well done. And slowly down. Excellent. <gasps> right, that was great. Wow. So, we're going to do the Spider Man Renegade right okay. next. Okay. This will get your heart rate up quite a bit. I definitely think so. Right, remember you're going to align your shoulders vertically over your hands. Your, your okay. body will be fast to bank. That's looking good. Give yourself space centered on the step. Right, I've checked all the boxes. I think it's great. Let's go. Okay. So if we descend down into a push up, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Okay, left to left. And then lift your left arm and your right leg. Slow and steady. Engage the pelvic floor muscles as well. It keeps the hips steady. Okay. Okay, now down to the right. And then up. Fantastic. Lift the right arm, left leg. You did really well. Oh. Let's try two more. Okay. okay. That was excellent. Try to bring your knee closer to your elbow. All right. And the leg, do I still have to lift the leg? And still lift the leg. All right. So go very slowly with this. A lot of control. 
good, right. Down to left, superb. Keeping good pack, like it. Lift the left arm on the right leg. Oh, very hard. Well done, yeah, definitely. Down the right, big push, lift the right arm. And left leg, slowly down. That was good. Oh. Super, wow. I'm proud of you. Well done. I'm ready for the next round. Right, so we're going to do another three rounds of that. Awesome. Are you happy about it? I'm happy. Good stuff. I'm really happy. Well done. Thank you. Right, let's go. Let's do it.